Good afternoon everyone, Ashley from Europe Education Services here. So I thought I'd discuss a few movie tips, particularly regarding how to reduce the stress levels of moving. Because let's face it, moving is said to be, and often is, one of the most stressful things we can do in our lives. I want to get divorced and a few other things. I'll say get divorced before you ask. <laughs> right, sorry, that was a poor joke. Anyway, moving can be stressful done poorly. Ways to increase the stress, which you want to avoid, or leave things to the last minute. Don't leave things to the last minute. That will make you rush. Rushing will lead you to forgetting things and things not being done. And the last thing you want to do is have tasks that need doing by a certain point in time, be missed, be forgotten, and therefore not done when needed. That will only increase the stress. One of them tasks is booking the removal company. You should always research the removal company, your solicitors, the conveyors companies, all the other companies involved in the process that you are choosing to use to do your overall home buying and moving process or renting, etc. And part of that research should be checking their feedback, reading the T's and etc. But anyway, once you've done the research, once you've found the company happy with, once you know the company can do the dates you want, book them. Don't leave booking the removal company to the last minute. Never do that. For one very important reason, if you do leave booking the removal company to the last minute, you can't guarantee the company you want will be available, which then will mean you may have to fall back on a company you never wanted to use or not find the mover and to be stressed and rush off your feet. Also, talking of, be, of the last minute, have no packing left to do on the morning, unless you've hired a packing service, that's a different matter. But if you have no packing left to do on the morning, except a few breakfast pots for your bedding and the likes. Make sure your alarm clock's set, get up, do not press the snooze button, that's a bad mistake. Do go to bed a bit early on the night before would also be a good suggestion here because a lot of people will struggle to sleep. So that way you should get enough sleep and the moving day can be hectic, busy and tiring, so you want to have plenty of sleep. But yeah, make sure that the only things left to do in the morning, as I say, is your bed in and a few pots and breakfast and stuff. Never pat the kettle away and the similar until the last minute. Last minute being basically as soon as it basically at the end of the pack. So have the box waiting for it to go in, ready, great, yeah. But don't put it in. A cup of tea is a great, or a coffee or hot chocolate, whatever hot drink you like to drink, it's a great way to rewind, have a quick de-stressing session, have a chat with the movers, see how things are going, have a relaxed conversation and joke and laugh with or whatever, but don't pack the kettle. Make a plan, stick to your plan, it's a good thing as well. Know what you need to do and when you need to do it, which relates back to what I was saying about not leaving things to the last minute, okay? So there's a few quick removal tips that hopefully will help you have a less stressful moving event. The better planned it is and the better organised it is, the less stress you will have. Thank you everyone. Have a great day. Bye for now.